Hey guys, what's going on? It's Lefty from 643 Productions coming at you here with a Black Ops Search and Destroy sniping gameplay on Jungle. We're joining this one in progress uh, because I believe I was a little slow in, uh, in actu actually starting the capture session. Uh, when I was recording this, but anyway, I have my friend Manders back. Uh, she was on last time talking about what the hell did we talk about? Um, Amanda, first of all, say hello to the people. And what the hell did we talk about? Hello, people. And I think we talked about camping. Oh yeah, yeah. that's right. Okay. Anyway, well, remember. you guys liked it. I remember that. You guys enjoyed it. You guys had fun. Yay. Uh, Amanda got a few nice compliments. <laughs> did you enjoy those compliments? Um. Yes, but I don't really understand how my voice could sound hot. That is a bit baffling to me but uh thanks anyway i guess <laughs> well it as it turns out it's true i mean <laughs> that's kind of creepy i'm gonna wow you're, we should probably restart that but it'll be funny so i'm gonna leave it in there because it sounds funny didn't we do a commentary about how i don't like getting hit on over the internet oh I yeah guess, you did say uh, that didn't we i guess my bad oops <laughs> Oops. But anyway, Amanda is back. And you know what? You gotta come up with a better intro. When I say Amanda, say hello to the people. You can't just be like, hello, people. You gotta have something better. What do you want me to say? Because, lo and behold, guys, she confided in me earlier. Oh, God. She wants to start her own channel. Because she got a lot of that in the Try Hard commentary we did with Jay Brooks. That's because I'm a girl. Jimmy Brooks. There's nothing to Jay do Brooks with film. what I said. No, there were a lot of comments. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you saw them. There were a lot of people that said you were, you were intelligent and you were articulate. They, I think there was one specifically that said, you know, I don't agree with her, but I could tell that she, you know, she was intelligent. She had thought about this issue and she relayed it articulately. Articulately. There we go. That's articulately. cute. Hercules, Hercules. Sorry, that oh, just what? made me think. I said articulately and I thought about Hercules, Hercules from... I don't even Whatever. know what to say to that. Whatever that movie was. Gonna that acknowledge horrible, that. horrible, horrible movie with Eddie Murphy. What has yeah. Eddie Murphy done to his career? What have you done with your damn career, man? <laughs> Stop it. His mom lives near me. I watched Beverly Hills Cop the other day, and I was like, oh my god, that's funny, raunchy Eddie Murphy. That's weird. And then Beverly Hills Cop 3 was around. So you enjoy like, raunchy Eddie Murphy, huh? Not like that. That's what it sounded like. Hey, I am all for that but you know, no, I like I like Eddie Murphy. I, have you seen his comedy specials from back in the eighties? Those no. are hilarious. Anyway, why are we? What are we, we talking about? We have about? shit to talk about. Damn I don't it! Know. What's going on? <laughs> but anyway, like I said, this is Search and Destroy. If you haven't seen it already, I think it's already passed. Uh, the reason I'm going to show this gameplay, I think I end up like seven and three or something, or eight and three. Um, but the the tomahawk, I believe, in the first round was pretty damn cool. I was proud of it. I hope you guys enjoyed as well. I really, I really liked it, and obviously, Amanda, you'll have to wait to see it until Whatever. it uploads. Why are you making... Okay. <laughs> you know, this hostility... See, first, it, it was pre-recording. Now your hostility towards me is creeping into the recording, and people aren't going to like that. Why? Why is that a problem? Because you're... I'm their guy. They like me. I'm Some their of girl. Them do. How about that? That's creepy. That's not creepy. Some of them will take that seriously. We boys now. You know, I've been on your channel. But enough. you just said you're their girl. Well, it's it's a phrase, you know, we boys. I don't know. We could be boying. I don't know. Never mind. Just, it's not I that. don't know what you're saying. I don't either. Do you even know what you're saying? No, not really. I don't know. But anyway, I brought Amanda in because, again, like a lot of you said, and, and like I have learned, she's very, uh, she's very articulate in what she says. Yeah. She, she thinks things through and she she is good at expressing her thoughts in in a very very well thought out planned uh, and calculated way. So this, I I had an idea for this commentary and looking at all the the, the famas is going to be nerfed and I did a I did a video on it and I talked about it and uh, and this is not going to be a rant video. This is not going to rant about balance and black ops or anything like that. Far from it. This is more of a just a philosophical discussion with Amanda again, a bad kid gamer, hey. self admitted bad kid gamer. You say it on your Twitter. Yeah, but that's like an endearing way to say bad kid gamer. I don't mean, I don't know. It's kind of satirical because I'm really not a bad kid at all. Well, I kind of am, but not really. So. No, you're not bad. I mean, you're. All right, you beat I'm me. You kid. beat me in a one v one. You, you beat me in a one v one sniping match once. There. Yeah. I admitted it. It's out there now. Now my subscribers know about it. That's because you're bad, but it's okay. You've been listening to Darth too much. Anyway. Ooh, was that a cheap shot? I don't know. Maybe. But anyway, <laughs> I wanted to talk with you uh, about something. I was thinking about this, and throughout this whole conversation, I, it's going to we're going to use, I guess you could say, the specifics, the nuts and bolts of Black Ops. But I wanted to think about it like this. 
assuming we had a blank slate for 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 a Call of Duty video game for a game in the Call of Duty canon, would it work? Or when when we're talking about balancing weapons, making making sure weapons are balanced that that on the whole given how the the weapons are used given how the call of duty series has evolved in terms of play style would it work to assume accuracy when talking about balancing weapons to just look at uh, uh, i created the damage output uh which just takes into account uh the number of bullets in a given weapon its damage uh, and the the time in between shots. It's basically RPM, but RPM is kind of ambiguous because it's a, okay. Well, the weapon's not going to fire for a minute. How many bullets does it have? Blah blah blah. It's basically RPM tuned to the weapon. And I thought, you know, given those those three variables, I thought you could fluctuate their value enough and and come out with a with the same with relatively the same uh, the same value and get balanced. But Amanda, when talking about weapon balance, do you think Accuracy, in, and by accuracy I mean the ability for um, player A, or for any player, to, uh, across different weapons, put th uh, the bullets fired from that weapon where they intend to go. Do you think that should be assumed, or do you think that you have to, or that, that even accuracy can be the make or break in terms of balancing weapons? Um, I think it definitely should be a factor, because you were, you were trying to explain it to me before, and like I get what you're saying, that you you think that accuracy accuracy should be assumed, right? That's what you're. Yes, I think is. accuracy should be assumed because otherwise there's a, it's it's just a variable. Well, I think it should be one of the factors in differentiating the weapons because if you look at like the MP5K, that has a lot of recoil and it's not you know the most accurate gun, and you really have to work at it. And I think that builds a player's skill more, which. I mean, personally, I play, and I know a lot of other people play, to, like, build their skill at the game and to get better at it. And I think mm -hmm. if you just assume accuracy and the only different factors are whatever other factors are the only things that determine, like, the difference between the weapons, I don't think that's really going to build a better player because it's well, kind of I... like using the same weapon over and over. Well, my point is, is that I don't, uh, I'm not saying that every gun should shoot the same or, and I'm not saying that every gun should be a hundred percent accurate. What I'm saying is, is that I don't think accuracy should be made to be the make or break point for weapons. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. They, 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 you can use them to, to, to differentiate a little. They're, they're like the fill in the gaps kind of things, but it cannot be the make or break because when we look at, let's take black ops, when we look at the FAMAS and, um, and the AUG, for instance, okay, they were both supposed to be high high fire rate, high damage output weapons, but one was clearly better than the other when Treyarch left it to the accuracy of the FAMAS relative to the AUG to be the deciding factor. Because the FAMAS is or, or is now, it won't be uh, in a few weeks whenever the whenever the update comes, but it the FAMAS is way more accurate than the AUG, and that leaves it overpowered. Now, they both had the same stats in the first place, and they both uh, they, they both are insanely high damage output weapons relative to every other gun in their class and pretty much the game aside from the, the early 7.4U, and I think that's a problem in and of itself. But uh, my point is I don't think accuracy should be the deciding factor. I don't think you should be like, okay, well, everything's accurate now, or, or you know, we're all going to the accuracy is going to set this weapon apart or, or make it, bring it to the level of others. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. I just, I don't know. I think that's, it has been, and maybe maybe it shouldn't be, but it has been one of the main factors, as you said, in the case of the FAMAS, and I don't really see how a game would be fun if that wasn't one of the things. Like, I know the FAMAS is really annoying, and people get irritated that it's so accurate and that so many players seem to use it, but... I don't, I don't know. I don't agree. I think you need to have accuracy be a factor. So. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, the, video's, the video is over, so we're going to probably have to do this again. Uh -oh. I know and, uh, all of you are going to be angry that you get to see more Manders. Anyway, hey. Amanda, your, your link to Twitter, would you, would you again like your Twitter link put into the description? Uh, sure. Again, what's the rule? Don't, don't harass Amanda. Yeah. <laughs> don't harass her. That's what about it. picking up on her or trying to hit on her? Uh. Bad? Yeah. Don't do that? Don't do that. <laughs> okay. Damn it. <laughs> You'll be cool. God, I'm really coming off like a creep. This is 
bad. That's anyway, well. anyway, guys, that's our time. We got to get out of here. Thank you for joining Amanda. Thank you for coming on. And hopefully, uh, this is the first recording. Hopefully, it doesn't screw up, or you. Hopefully, you don't screw it up oh. like you did last time. <laughs> gonna yeah, I'm gonna get that, that last one in there. <sighs> Oh just going to twist that knife a little bit more. We got to get out of here. Thank you for joining. Be sure to follow me on Twitter. Just go to twitter.com slash lefty643. Once again, that's twitter.com slash lefty643. Amanda's link to Twitter is in the description along with mine. Check us out there. Thank you for joining. We hope you enjoyed. We are out. How far over did that go? Not too far. You're, you're not going to say anything now. Are you done recording now? Damn it. No, no, it's okay.